You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang got my guy with me. Showtime, Miss Peter. Nobody that knows bodies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a lot going on out here. What's the word, man? What's good, B? You already know, man. The closer it's getting. Hmm? It's, I, I feel it. I feel it. The air is starting to get a little crisp. The streets is hot right now. Before the fall hits. Before the fall hits, it's still got some heat out here. It's hot out here right now. It is hot. <laughs> it's, on, it's on fire. It's on fire, you know what I'm saying? Besides the other things that I've seen on Twitter. Oh, my God. We'll just let that, you know. I'm not prepared to touch any of that. You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody's doing all right. I mean, I, you know, real, my nigga. I really hope everybody. I hope doing everybody right. are all on one accord. Right. <laughs> yo, yo, salute to everybody <laughs> out there. Uh, so you got Summer Madness, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. You got the Lou Castro versus Arsenal most recently added. Mm -hmm. Easy to block captain versus uh, Chess. Mm -hmm. You got. Uh, K Shine versus Hollow the Don, Geechee versus Calico, Sue Surf versus John John, Murder Mook versus Reed Dollars. How did we get here? What are we doing, man? What's up? I mean, it feels like Summer Madness is here. Mm -hmm. Definitely gives that vibe. You know, judging by the card, you know, we got some legendary battles. Yep. Um, we got some battles that we didn't expect to, to go down, but now we, ex we see this happening, you mm -hmm. know. Um, you know, right from the hip, man. I mean, we already talked. We already talked a lot about the main event. So let's let, let's talk about the new, the new, the new, new news. You Lou me? Castro, yes, sir, versus Arsenal. I seen a lot of people with the pot. With the pot. Mm -hmm. Um, I seen a lot of people saying like they felt like this was not a summer madness battle. Whoop de woo. I like it because I like Lou Castro. I like the work that he's put in. Lou Castro has worked his ass off to mm -hmm. get to this position, you know what I'm saying? Like he battled in like mad different spectrums. Mm -hmm. He had some good ones. He had a he had he had ups, he had downs, you know what I'm saying? He battled DNA. He didn't die die versus DNA, but yeah. DNA is not an easy person to beat, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And um he had most notably, you know what I'm saying, he he just battled on the last joint versus uh who he had on this last shit. He battled year. Jack Boy. Yeah, he he beat Jack Boy. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, he, he's had some joints, you know what I'm saying? And now he's getting that shot versus Arsenal. Arsenal's one of those type of people that when he cares, he can really, like, go up there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I know he's had some ups and he's had some downs. But Arsenal, when he takes a lot of the newer folks, he get crazy. Like, he got crazy versus Jerry West. Yep. He got crazy versus uh, Official. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He had a decent battle versus Real Sick. Not his best performance, but... Real sick going to do that to niggas. Like, real sick don't... What you think about it? Come on, though. It's on you, my Listen, guy. Listen, man. Arsenal, Mr. Disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Okay? We forgot all about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We forgot all uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Filler bars, right? Mm -hmm. We forgot about that. You right. know what I'm saying? What have you done for me lately? And lately, Arsenal has been doing his just do. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I ain't saying he killing niggas. He definitely beat official. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I ain't saying he killing niggas. But... He, he doesn't need to be Jerry West. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, these are things that, but these are the people that are cooking right now. So you can't say, well, Arsenal ain't cooking right now. No, he's he's cooking the niggas that's cooking right now. Lou, a big dog. Mm. I need you to be 100 for what? Arsenal. 100. 100. Because, yeah. because, because. Here comes the brand <sighs> new flavor. Listen, I'm talking about you need to be from the from the gate. You say one you say one disrespectful thing about my grandmama, you hitting me wild, man. I need all of that. You know what I'm saying? I need all of that for this to be a good battle. But but if I'm a betting man mm -hmm. for the stakes that it's at, you know what I'm saying? Right. Be it as it is summer madness. You know? Who is taking who's leaving summer madness? Who's leaving? I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta, Who's leaving with it? I who gotta who go, is leaving with it? I Come gotta on. go with my man Arsenal. I'm going with Arsenal on this one. To win? Yes. 2 1. It could go oh, either way. Oh, I'm from the Bronx, way. you know, I ain't picking. I know. <laughs> you I know. already know how that goes. Um, I like what Luke Castro's been doing. Mm -hmm. Luke Castro on a big stage in front of 2,000 people. It, it, it could, he, 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 I, I think he deserves this shot. Um. I think this battle comes all down to who wants it more. Mm -hmm. uh, Luke Castro has way more to prove. I look at things from that perspective of your biggest day is just another day at the office for me. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, sometimes mm -hmm. when that's the case, the you know you could deal with a, a, a lack of certain structure when you're looking at it like that because ours could be like you know it's just another day I'm gonna just run through the mill like you said you know what I'm saying and Luke Castro could be out there trying to have 
performance of the night type deal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, did you peep my shirt? Tonight? I, I mean, I, I did peep that. You know what I'm saying? You got that. It was cool. You took it out my closet. Come, I did. I did. Here yeah, comes you the stretched brand. stretched it out. Man. Here comes the brand new flavor. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got Luke Castro 2-1 mm. because I feel like in this predicament, like, Luke Castro, he, he, he going to show up. Like, he know what it's worth. He just battled A-Ward not too long ago. Mm. Um, and he battled A-Ward like he had the Summer Madness battle coming up. I'm just going to say it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he did not put a, the... He, I got him 2-1 versus Arsenal. Hey, man. Listen, this is one of those battles versus wars. Mm -hmm. Luke Castro can definitely win the war by mm -hmm. not dying. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If Arsenal... Does everything that he's supposed to. No choking, no slips, no blips, and does exactly what he's been doing in the past few battles. Mm -hmm. And Luke Castro can still pull a performance out of that or pull a big moment out of that. Right. He could win the war. Mm -hmm. As long as he don't die. That's the big thing. Is don't, the, don't, die. It, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. That's the don't, die. don't die is the motto. Um, I, I, I like Luke Castro's climb, though. Yeah. Where, he's, where he's came from to oh, where yeah. he's gotten to. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, to be on Summer Madness and other big cars, the two-on-two -two joint. You know what I'm saying? All within the same year's time frame. Yeah. You know, that's a big accomplishment for him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But at the same time, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, don't shake my shiver, but you got to deliver. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can't get to the big show and, uh, and not show. Because Arsenal definitely has... What it takes to beat a Luke Castro. I'm not saying he doesn't have what it takes to beat him. He right. probably wants to do better after his last showing versus a newer guy. You know what I'm saying? Like he might want to have a better showing. I mean, but it was real sick though. So like, I mean, real sick don't really lose real sick. Thing, I mean, I'm saying he just battled yeah, after. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah, me. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, let's go. All, all fresh off the press, um, the face off just dropped. Mm -hmm. um, Chess versus Easy to Block Captain. Mm. Listen, man. Listen, mm -hmm. I done watched that face-off. Mm -hmm. Out of all of the face-offs, that was, was probably my favorite one. It seems like it was the most evenly matched in wit. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Because it felt like they was trying to talk to each other as, as gentlemen. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But yet, there was a little bit of talking. There was some slamming on the table. I was with it. It's cool. I'm cool with that. I'm we cool got a table with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> See, you don't even know the stuff we had. What happens over here, y'all don't even see that. But anyway, right. um, uh, with Chess saying what he said the easiest about y'all, you did what you did. You've been here, you know, you was rapping for 10 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. You had, you know, you had time to hone that crap and come back. Yeah. I was here the whole time. Mm -hmm. And I had to, you know, crap my shit in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? That is a very strong standpoint, Chess. You know? It is too. It, very. Keep going, you got it. But my thing is. Hot right now, easy to block Captain as hot as fish grease right now. You know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. You know what I'm saying? At, at, at you know all of the family reunions, they were they was using the easy, they was using the easy oil. You feel right. me? Because it was that hot. You feel me? Um, you gotta also look at star power. Right. It's a little bit evenly matched. I'm gonna say that because you know, easy still hot right now. Chess I'm is not doing that. Cool. I'm, I'm not. Saying. I'm not doing that. Star power. No, no. I'm, no. I'm, chess, I'm, come on. We're not doing that with chess. Like, come on, dog. Chess is is levels above easy. Black captain. Lyrically, star power. like he's done. This. Lyrically, he's done all the big stages already. Mm -hmm. He's had his ups. He's had his downs. Right. We can't even compare the two as far. This is easy shot. This is not nowhere near Chess's biggest battle. Not no, even close. I'm not you saying that. Saying? So Chess has lost bigger battles. <laughs> Chess. <laughs> he's lost bigger battles than he's in block captain has had. And right. he's won bigger ones too. You know what I'm saying? But what I will say is this, right? Um, I do like Easy to Black Captain a lot. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I love what he's been able to do from coming in as a low seed in the Ultimate Madness 2. Yeah, two seconds, yeah, right? Two. Ultimate Man is two. Mm -hmm. He battled against Don Marino. Nobody, niggas didn't even know why he was on the card. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like, yo, who is this? Right. He said... Actually, no. One. Uh, one? He was on the first okay. one. Yeah, he was on one. the first okay. one. Yep, yep. Um, what I was going to say is this. Found one. He had been around for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He battled... He's had a lot of battles before. He battled Clean Paper already. Mm -hmm. uh, he battled Dot. Like, he battled mad niggas already. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. he battled... He's bat I don't know if it was Dot, but he's had battles on the trap. Like, he's battled he's got a mad battles. niggas yeah. already. You know what I'm saying? Old battles, yeah. Old joints. Before Older. he was, like, this guy right here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He had already battled Snake Eyes. He battled mad niggas before. Mm -hmm. um, so, what I was saying is that I feel like 
he's got a certain level of skill and he could talk that pain, that struggle and power shit. Mm -hmm. And like, not like very few can. And the fact that he's been around for such a long time, even though he went to jail for a couple years, mm -hmm. even though he returned, reinvented himself, and now he's got his, you know, he's got his his wheels in the right direction. Mm -hmm. He's got to continue to 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 build that craft and, and and show niggas at the highest level. Like you getting a chance versus chess on summer matters. Like this ain't. It's it, the, well that to me that's I think the not chess isn't the opponent isn't the biggest obstacle for easy. Okay. The biggest obstacle is doing it on that big stage, that grand of a stage, mm -hmm. because Easy's uh, uh, his, his 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 he's having an ascension right now. He hasn't mm -hmm. had a downfall. Right. Maybe all of that happened before he got on to URL was maybe his downfall, mm -hmm. and this is now his 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 climactic peak. You get what I'm saying? Right. But. Can you lose this? To, can you lose the chess and and lose all of that? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same thing for chess. It's like if you lose the easy, it's like it doesn't hurt either one of them. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it depends on if somebody gets bodied. Right. So in this one, just don't die. Give us the battle of the like. Make it the battle of the night. Y'all go listen. Y'all get whoever y'all ask for the next time. That. That's an easy. That's an easy pick for me. I ultimately feel like it's gonna be a battle tonight because, yeah. um, you know, like you said, they had different ways of going about things when they were face to face. You got Easy saying like, you know, the things that he was saying about Chess, and then you know, Chess felt he didn't feel really disrespected to almost end until he really started explaining like. Mm. You know, I'm I'm a really I'm a really dog walk you like I'm about to get you out of here. <laughs> he ain't for about none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't it's, care about none of that. You don't care about none of that. None of that. You know what I'm saying so. Easy, easy, just going rap, man. He's just going rap like he's supposed to. Chess is going rap like he's supposed to. Just make this battle the battle tonight. Like, I give do us have that a feeling man. that we're gonna get the best easy and the best chess. Oh, absolutely. You know, like like you're getting these two right here. It's about knowing what's at stake. And I think these guys both know what is at stake. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Chess knows to beat Easy the Black Captain. Clearly, like, to clearly beat him would do so much for his stock and for who he is as a battler. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would really show the levels that he's trying to show niggas. Like, he been, like, come on, we already know who Chess is. We already know what he's about. You know, but at the same time, he's forever evolving. And the one things that some of the things that he did say made a lot of sense. I had to make all my mistakes in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Like everything, like a lot of the mistakes that he made, whether it be. And this is the thing, like in life, you know, uh, we all do some dumb shit at some time. You know what I mean? But it's about what you do after the dumb shit. What, what are you going to do that's going to make you recover right. and that's going to make you learn and grow? If you don't grow from something, you stay in the same place. And Chess, you know, he learned from his shortcomings, whether it be the stumbles or whether it be the choke, whatever the case, or being unprepared. He's learned from that or he's learning from that and forever evolving because mm. he says body after body, I'm shape shifting. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So uh, it's a very, very interesting battle. I think it's battle of the night. Uh, do I think Chess could win? Yes, I think Chess could win. Who who, who you going with, man? I mean, I, I can't pick a winner. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? But if I have to, you know, choose it, I think uh, Easy has a lot more to gain if he wins. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to go with uh, the underdog. Mm. I think it's going to be Easy. I think it's, I'm going to go with Easy 2-1. Mm. I said Easy before. I'm from the Bronx, <laughs> and I usually go with the Bronx. Mm. But since I said it easy originally, I was on a live stream like too long ago, and someone said, you said easy from the start. So if I said that from the start, then I'm going to just roll with my pick. Uh -huh. I just hope that easy delivers, you know what I'm saying? And then and, and we'll just see where that goes from there. Hey, that don't do nothing but spark more fire underneath chest. That's all that got to do with it. All right. All right. Another face-off. Yeah. K-Shine versus Hollow the Don. Mm. You know, I pay attention to patterns. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, and one thing that I pay attention to is when I'm looking at a certain battler and I also see the people that he battles or his opponents, mm -hmm. if there's a common theme with all of them, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily true, but it fits the description. Or the uh, narrative. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, 
This is the first, the third face off I've seen with Hollow the Don, where the person he's battling is looking at him like, "You are really moving weird, and I don't know yeah, yeah, what yeah, this yeah. is about you or this aura that you got about you. I don't like it." Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and it, it goes back from the math battle. Mm -hmm. In that face off, math was like, "Yo, you." Like he looking at him like, yo, are you serious? Like, mm -hmm. you, are you really, you you really saying this right now? Right. Same thing with Rum Nitty in that face off. He was like, yo, like, what are you talking about? Like, it was like, it seems like Hollow was trying to force a narrative with the other person, and I guess the other person was looking at him sideways. Same way I felt about this face off. Reason why I get to that is Sean don't be pulling, he don't be falling for none of that type stuff. Mm -hmm. He. For Sean to be known as a hothead or for him to be as, you know, like short tempered as as some would see it if you've seen it over the, the course of years, right? Yeah. For for Sean to look like he's off his square, I I'm now I'm starting to ask, what exactly is Hollow saying to these people before these campers turn on? You Correct. know what I'm saying? And I, I don't wanna push the issue, but I'm just saying it's a common thing that I'm seeing with all of that. Mm -hmm. With all of that being said. Sean met and 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 Sean got a lot to prove. He said he got a lot to prove. And I'm not counting Sean out. I'm not going to count Sean out. But this is hollow we talking about. If we mm -hmm. get a glimpse, if I get three full rounds of what we got in that first round from Hollow, it could it could get spooky out here for niggas. I'm just saying it could get really spooky out here. But I think I'm gonna go with Sean on this one. Right. I think I'm a yeah. I think I'm gonna go with Sean. I think Shine is like the sensible pick to pick in this regard because, and I'll just go back, um, as far as K-Shine, you know, he knows that his last one-on-one, -on -one, he didn't win. You know what I'm saying? He knows that. Um, I think the only people that who thought he won was you and him at the time. Right. I think, it's, I think you've, I think you've came around now. <laughs> but uh, what I was going to say was, uh, he knows he didn't win his last one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. He knows he has a lot to prove. Big stage Shine, big stage Hollow to Dawn. I'm leaning towards Shine mm. because Shine has that barking presence. Shine has that 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 anger, that charisma. He can uh, like like he can he can switch flows real crazy. Like creeping on the F, creeping in the J. Like like I'm creeping out the back door. Like you was wearing reverse math. Like he could do that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. he could switch his flow up. Hollow can switch his flow up a lot too. Mm -hmm. But with the big punchlines and the big the big bars that are needed for them big stage bars, mm -hmm. you know, it's something I, I feel like it's more predicated towards what Shine does. Right. Now if they were battling the caffeine room, whatever the case may be, I would pick Hollow not because mm -hmm. stage means a lot. Mm -hmm. I know Hollow has spent time in Houston, so he's gonna get a lot of love down there. But he's gonna have to be a little bit quicker to the punch, cause he can't just fill it for 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 fill it. You was doing this and I was doing this. And like he's gotta have more, a little bit more seasoning for the reasoning. Just my personal perspective. I mean, he might have to widen his 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 range as far as bars, cause I think he was a little bit too in depth. Mm -hmm. Or like, cause his thing was he was. Rhyming on top of the rhymes, but those were bars that were within the bars mm -hmm. on a bigger stage like that Shine know how to stretch that out. Okay, but let's not forget hollow is Shang Tsung mm -hmm. It right out the gate if if, Shine, if if hollow tells us exactly what shine is gonna do mm -hmm. and shine Immediately does it. It's like it kind of negates what shine can do. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's the unorthodox that Hollow has, mm -hmm. as long as he keeps it entertaining. Right. But it's funny that he said that because in the face-off, he was like, that's why, you know, I feel bad because they said, you know, once I pointed out clips and shit, now, I, you know, like, now that's all I do. I'm like, well, it was really good. I, I really like that. If you, right, if right, you right. do that, to, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of the battle rap I like. If you could try to make, I want to sound better than you. How can I sound better than you? By telling you how simple your stuff is and I can do it better than you. Yeah, yeah. That's easy. Shine can be like, he could do the same thing to Hollow. Maybe Shine could do the same thing to Hollow. Like, we, Professor Shine could break down what, a, what Hollow is. We might get Carpenter Shine. <laughs> shine. We don't know. He might put a hard hat on. You feel what I'm saying? He gonna express what hollow is. Right, 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 right. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, and on a big stage. Come on, man. Shine. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I mean, 
you, we can, you really can't count Hollow out because on the last big stage we oh, seen him on mm -hmm. was him and Lux. Yeah. At, that was at, a that, at, yep, at energy yep. sold separately. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> can we really discount his performance on a big stage? I don't know if we can do that nah. per se. I mean, he can Hollow's do Hollow's able to. Hollow be having some shit. What are you talking about? I'm about to say. Ver him versus Tay Rock. Take the fatigues off of 2K. I, I mean, was, yeah. The same energy. Come on. Yeah, I, I, so I, I know. Really I know. I'm you talking to a hollow fan. I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm surprised that you ain't got him out the gate. I don't. It's. It's. I really had to sit and debate this. And mm -hmm. then once I started to pay attention, the closer and closer the battle got, and I, I just I noticed as a, as a battler, for for hollow to get every one of his opponents off of a square. Mm -hmm. That's a tactic in its own, but it's like a type of a uh, 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 thing that I'm like, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I, at this point, I just like, I really want to see what they rapping about. That, mm -hmm. that's at this point, because mm -hmm. I know Sean, and at, well, I don't know Sean personally, but I can feel when Sean is sitting here, like, bro, I'm not bugging, bro. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not bugging. He's trying to, yo, know, he. Let's just talk. You know what I'm saying? Like when he's doing stuff like that, that's the, cause usually. Sean wicked on you. Like, Sean like, yo, don't talk to me like that. Like, you know, the hand in the face. Mm -hmm. You know. But when Sean feels like you trying to... Listen, bro, I just, I'm here to do my job. I'm just, listen, I'm only here because they paid me to be... Listen, like, I don't even want to talk to you, bro. I don't even want to talk to you. Th that, that alone automatically gets me... You know, that leads me to the next battle, though. Who you, who you got? Who you got? Don't you walk out of there. Uh, no, I'm not walking out of there. I'm picking mm -hmm. everything tonight. Um, I'm going with Sean 2-1. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so it seems like the only one so far that we at odds is uh, Arsenal and Luke. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, so that's the only one we at odds that's with. The only one we at odds with. So the next one is Prayer Warrior, um, <laughs> Prayer Warrior and Calico. Prayer, yeah. Gucci Gotti. Gucci Gotti versus. <laughs> Yeah, like, listen, I listen. What's hey, up? Hey, yo, we just need to say a prayer right now. Oh my God, get you Gotti versus. You know what I'm saying? I want all my prayer warriors out here. Listen, when, you at my funeral, at my funeral. Okay. Jaden Nightwing has to do the eulogy. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was a nobody. Yeah. But now nobody knows that everybody. Like I want to hear that. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? But I need, I need get you Gotti to say a prayer, yo. It's something about that West Coast accent. It's just making you, you know, Lord, Lord God, <laughs> bring your arms, stretch your arms, God. Like, <laughs> it's so real. Oh like, what we talk about? We talk about this battle between yeah, Gucci Gotti yeah, and Calico? Cal yes, man. Okay, that's what's up. Um, Calico already knows he's the underdog. He's seen he's losing most of the polls. Okay. Um, no, nah, that's hate. No, nah, that's hate. No, nah, that's, he that's hate. Come on. He that's knows. hate. He knows he's not. That's hate. Um... Calico has had some phenomenal performances on some big stages. And I know that, you know, the narrative is you hate on him and shit like that. But we're gonna we're gonna get to we're gonna do this the right way. Hey. So hey. um Talk numbers. Um yeah, millions and millions of views. Uh he had the rock battle, he had a lot of other battles, but mm -hmm. now he's battling against Kishi Gotti, who is the face of um, URL. <laughs> yeah, of not just the new school. It ain't just the face of the new school. No, URL. He's the face of URL. Yeah. Um he had a good battle versus Averb in the caffeine room. Mm -hmm. uh, I had him beat Neil Will, one of the last people that I did have beat Neil Will, and mm -hmm. a close one. Uh, you know, due to circumstances that they had to switch. They had to switch in the parking lot and all that other shit. But uh, Ill Will had I had him beating Hitman. I did have him beating Hitman. I, that's 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 fine. You know what I'm saying? They, like Calico be, be winning. You know what I'm saying? He be winning when he be winning. Um, but it's Gucci Gotti now, and it's Gucci Gotti's time. Um, Gucci Gotti seems very comfortable. Uh, he, I've always mentioned a lot of the shit that he does off of outside the ring, whether it be with the radio, whether it be with the clothes, whether it be with the branding, whether it be with him working with the riot. Like he's doing all the right things, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, that you're supposed to be doing when you get uh, put in that position. And you know, Calico, it, Calico gonna need a lot. Because first of all, Gigi don't be losing battles like that. There we go. Especially when the, if it has anything to do with voting or, or anything like that. Gigi don't be losing battles. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, dude, you better do like what well, well, fucking Mary Mook did. I don't want no poll. Because if it's a poll, you're not. If, it's damn near impossible to beat that nigga on the poll. Um, it's Gigi Gotti. Yeah, on the polls, he's very difficult it's, to beat. It's, but what's up? What you think about it, though? How would you think? Gigi Gotti, um, he, don't, he don't lose 
and if he do lose, it's debatable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, I can only say the maybe, and it even even that battle wasn't clear. Him versus Rock, I feel like I feel like he really fought in, in that battle. But I think Rock ended up, you know what I'm saying? Rock, like Geechee had a crazy first round, mm -hmm. but Rock had the rest. That like that was the only battle. You know, within recent time that I could be like, all right, that's the you know, Gigi might have lost that one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's other ones. It's 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 debatables. You know what I'm saying? Him versus Surf, debatable. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I have Surf winning, but I get. I you. you know what I'm saying? Like him even versus, down to him versus Rum Nitty recently. Yeah, I feel you. Get, like it's like both times, both times. <laughs> even when they was out there in the dirty water, you know what I'm saying? When he was out there next to the you know the, the Hudson River, it was disgusting out there. It was really nasty out there, mm -hmm. but. It was cold. They that battle was both of those battles were good. And even what then, about Charlie like, Clips? Come on now, you know Clips is the goat. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Clips right. is the goat. Mm -hmm. But you know, but Geechee was he was kind of making himself lose by you know rap corn ball like when he was doing all of the the talking in the middle of the round like that mm -hmm. kind of once he started chilling now he can the freestyle game has gotten better. It's yeah. <sighs> All right, so I watched this anime. It's called My Hero Academia. You might have heard of it. But what happens is each episode, the person gets stronger. They find different abilities. And when they find a different ability, they strengthen it and get stronger at the same ability. And then they add on to it. Okay. Geechee Gotti was always getting told he was looking down. Mm -hmm. Geechee now looks niggas in the face when well, he's back. Real. You know what I'm saying? You can tell. See it in the eye. Oh, all Geechee Gotti got is real talk third round. Well, he also has heavy bars in every single round of those two. You always talk about how your man got shot. He's always elevating the game. Now, you can't say all Geechee talk about is gangbanging. Nigga, he does everything else. To, he does everything that he possibly can to stay out of the streets. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Calico is of the streets. Mm -hmm. He still remains, uh, I don't want to say he still remains in the streets, but he definitely called himself the product of the streets, I mean, he's uh, but his his uh, outlet is of course doing the BMF uh, uh, docu series that's coming out. So for Calico, he's still of that street element. Mm. We now the question is, who can rap better? Mm. Geechee, <laughs> Geechee, can, just, just, this, yeah. come on, are we not? Geechee can clearly rap. If we talking real talk, then yes, Calico can tell the best stories. He could probably lead me down the path of how I could die. Is great. But Geechee tells it the same way, faster, and in four bars. <laughs> it's, it's, who's the better? I, I, star power, yeah, Calico has a star power, especially in the, in the D. Like, you know what I'm saying? Calico is that man, but we not in, we not over there. What did, before we, oh, it's a Houston, right? Mm -hmm. So you know I'm saying? We in Houston, it's even ground. Geechee. Uh, yeah, big stage, you know what I'm saying, big crowd, shit like that, it, it, Geechee's got a distinct advantage, you know what I'm saying, like, he just, he has an advantage in star power, he has an advantage in punchlines, mm -hmm. and, you know, that, like, the shit just be hitting with what he do, you know what I'm saying, like, he battled Sue Surf, and he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Surf, who actually had three rounds, yes. you know what I'm saying, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's what you're supposed to be. I mean, you supposed, <laughs> but you get... You Still. Still. You know what I'm saying? The, you gotta also, you know, factor in all of the other variables of, you know, star power, stage presence. Lyrically, I can think of a few more Geechee lines better than uh, uh, how do you ham, how do you, uh, how do you uh, keep a ham sandwich nigga in line? You toothpicking nigga? Uh -huh. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You they just asked, that line. I, I did, I did not like that line because I can think of a line right up. They asked Surf what they uh, uh what size they wanted this casket. Told him wavelength, like. It, it, anyway, it, whether it sounds like hate, but the truth sound like hate to the people who hate the truth. I like it. I got get you got it two one. Mm -hmm. Calico, you get the first. Uh, be honest with you, man. You the third. For the sake of argument, Geechee Gotti 2-1, he could win every round of this battle though. I'm just being honest. I haven't seen I haven't seen Calico get 30 in a while, like like beat beat like that. Yeah. But I will say that um it it, it, it ain't something that's 
impossible for him not to win this battle. But he could, though. He could win, though. That's the craziest thing. Like, he could actually win versus a Geechee Gotti. Would that be a lot to him? Hell yeah, that would mean a lot for him if he could win against a Geechee Gotti. That shit would, it would improve his, uh, his catalog, his resume, and everything else immensely. But the question is, what would make Geechee Gotti lose other than talking through the round? What, he gonna slip up? I, I, ain't, I ain't never seen, I ain't never seen that happen. You know uh, what I'm saying? I don't see that really happen. You know what I mean? Like, I, maybe, like, Calico gonna have to pull out something like, you know what I'm saying? Like, pull out, like, somebody from, you know, from, from Geechee Hood or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. to say that he ain't even a bae, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. something like, it has to be something monumental to win that round. And you got a real talk him in the third. You got a realer talk him in the third. It's possible, but the odds are stacked against you, man. The yeah, but, the, but do you think that him knowing that the odds are stacked against him can't help him, can't drive him to, like, you know, bigger heights to, to, to actually, you know, take forward and do what he needs to do in that in that situation? I honestly don't think that. I don't think, I honestly, and this is not hate, but just by Calico's demeanor and the way that he operates, most of the time he don't even give a who he battling. But this is this is this is not like this ain't this ain't chump change. This is for all the marbles. This is big shit. Some, the way that Calico operates, mm -hmm. it's like I'm. You know how Calico gonna show up? I spent a hundred on a ten of four. He chilling. He it's, it's, he gonna be good vibes. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen Calico. Calico going to cut his dreams. Was the last time we seen him on a big stage in the two on two shit? Maryland Dark Light? Was that that's the last that even, time? Does that even count? It wasn't even a big stage. I mean. It, I'm just saying, was that the last time? They was no, the last Calico big battle was him. We talking about on URL? Oh, yeah, on URL, yeah. Yeah, on URL, then we talking uh, uh, twerk? No, oh, no. The two on two. The two on, well, yeah. They had no big stage. I'm saying before that, the one on one, the last time Calico was on URL. Was it that twerk shit? I think it was. That wasn't a good battle. Right, that's he was just recycling some shit and whatever the case was. It was the first time I ever seen a nigga spit his round on camera and then actually use that shit in the battle. I was like, what is this nigga doing? I, I'm, I, I'm not hating. The facts are the facts that, that lie. So it's like, the last time I seen the fire in Calico's eyes to kill a nigga mm -hmm. was Summer Madness 1. Mmm, yeah, that. You talking about that, Papa John? I don't think we've seen that since... Since, since like maybe Lux, like, maybe Lux, like his first, when, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm no, saying? He, he went crazy. He but, did his thing versus Lux, but he just got caught. That by was the, but that was the last. I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? That hunger, that yeah. fire, that I want to kill you type vibe. Mm -hmm. I ain't felt that from Calico. That Max spread hit back in head. If he don't die, he better lay down and act dead. Come on. If he bring it, bring, bring, bring that. You, bring, he's got to bring that. Listen, Calico line. could win the first round, cut he's his he's hair. Cut his hair and got waves. Just got the waves. What? Yeah, he's got to bring that. What? That, that line. But uh, I, I will say, like, even in that Lux joint, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just got caught in front of probably the greatest third round ever. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, <laughs> what, what, what do you do? But he still, he did Lux his thing. But that Lux. shows that Calico can perform in front of. 2,000 people. Yeah. 25. He has done it before. He has done it before. But it's been um, a minute. It's very important if he's going to win versus a Geechee. He's got to win the first round. I think I, for the, for he's got to go up 1-0 could potentially help catapult you to a win in the next two rounds. But to go down 1-0, it'd be hard to see Geechee lose two rounds in a row. Right. You know that, that's right. the that's also the, the thing. I've Even with even with Rock's First round being as crazy as it was, Geechee edged that first round, right? You talking about when they when, when they when Geechee and Rock battle? I had Geechee winning that first that's round. That's what I'm saying. So Geechee had to win that round because other than that, it was downhill mm -hmm. from there. Calico's a little bit on the opposite. Mm -hmm. It takes him a minute to heat up. First mm -hmm. round, he's 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 just setting it up. Mm -hmm. Second and third round is now. That's when he's getting into that point. It's just at the tail end of his third is something. That's where he gets his monster. He okay. get, you know what I'm saying? He said, "Oh, don't shut the fuck up now," because you know what I'm saying? Uh, because uh, with the big Gerald thing, you know what I'm saying? Like he has those explosive moments, but those are usually in the second and the third round. Mm -hmm. That bat, they flying through the cage. 
is Calico gotta he gotta come out the gate firing? Right. And then, ugh, it, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things. It's a lot of things. There's a there's ways to win. Ways for Calico to win. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't trying to. You know, be out here trying to. Uh, uh, you know, foretell the future. But Calico would have to go second. He would okay. have to. He would have to go second. Because Geechee could be playing around in the first, but if he matches that energy that Geechee could have had, that's how he cashed the first. Mm -hmm. And that third can be the realest thing that we've heard from Calico. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? That's Those are the key ways that Calico could win that battle. Correct. But other than that, we still got to rap all three of those rounds mm -hmm. against Geechee. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you going with Geechee 2-1 yes, or 3-1? I'm going to still say 2-1. He's okay. going to get one of them rounds. One of those things will happen. Whether Calico goes second, so he's the last in depression, or he has a round that's so real, Geechee can't beat it. MVP versus real name Brandon's in there too. What's up? Listen, I said what I said on live, and I and I got and I gotta stand on mine. So I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna stand on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, this, I I have a habit of counting people out, and 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 when they con consistently win um, enough. Then it's like, all right, well, it's it's something that can't stop this train. Obviously, it's something that can't stop that momentum. So, if I were a betting man, I'm gonna go with MVP. Mm -hmm. um, Real name Brandon has had too many bye weeks, but he's had enough time to hone in all of those you know, those things. But you just both of them had the right for MVP, but now he has his full focus on MVP. Right. So now Real name Brandon has to be explosive. And he's not on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. He's he's down south now. So like he gotta he gotta work with the crowd. Hopefully the crowd will fall into him because usually his riot battles are close close quarters. Mm -hmm. No real big stages, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Same thing with MVP, but MVP, St. Louis, show me state. Usually anybody from St. Louis like that, they know they heavy performers. Yeah. So I I, I really got MVP, man. I I, I think MVP is gonna show us something. Cause he's been sitting. Uh, both are talented. One style is a little bit more predicated to big stages, which is the MVP style with the more punchy, punchy style. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's more predicated to bigger crowds. Um, but you got real name Brandon, who's got, who's like a crazy, uh, he's like a Swiss army knife. Like, he does a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen him punch. I've seen him, you know, uh, big bully people. I've seen him. Uh, use you use, kick a use real real too. real real life shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like uh, that shit that he said that when he was battling against uh, next when the nigga said that shit about what you know about drive bys, but you know robberies, but you was a fat nigga, so you had to be the driver and shit. Like dog, that is amazing. Like nigga, it's real. Like that's <laughs> real talk. Like real. you know what I'm saying? Like you was the fat one, so you had to be the driver. Fat, fat dude don't <laughs> listen. Fat dude don't run up and jack somebody and run oh, off. Oh shit! No, I ain't heard You're nobody say no right. shit like that in the tournament though. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like that's that real. That adds that real talk additive mm. to his flow and to his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I really think that 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 could help him out in a sense. You know what I mean? Like mm. so, um, it'll help him. And I'm gonna go. Give me real name Brandon too. What? Fuck it. Give me real name Brandon. Hey, I ain't look. We ain't wrong. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go MVP on that one. Mm. John John the Don versus Sue Surf. What's up, man? Yeah, You've seen it all. You heard it all. Mm hmm. You've been through it all. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's the intro to fucking. Right. Fight starting. You've seen it all. You've been through it all. But now, um. We've heard so much about this battle. We've heard all of the ups and downs. Mm -hmm. You know, is Surf gonna come with two rounds? We've heard all of the narratives and all of the said said things about it. Mm -hmm. But we we here now. What's up? Listen, with all of that being said, my pick ain't changed. It won't change until the battle happens, and my mind has been changed. Mm -hmm. um, I got John John the Don winning this battle. Mm -hmm. um, I was saying three zero. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna definitely go with two one, cause surf surf ain't. I ain't gonna say surf ain't gonna get bodied, but you know what I mean, because he has. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even with surf coming with three full rounds, if surf having three full rounds, this could be the battle of the night. 
Right. This battle could be the battle of the year. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because it served happening three rounds. But with the same attitude I have towards uh, New, New Jersey twerk, I got you got to show me, man. Mm -hmm. But if he does, he has the if factor. If the Surf same. does come with the three rounds, it's like, oh, Surf won. He bodied John John. Why? Because he had all three rounds. Well, what'd he say? I'm going to tell you later. <laughs> like, that's how that goes. It's the if factor. The if factor. The so, if factor is real, though. It is. But John John has been one of the most consistent battlers. Like, on URL. In the last five years. For real. Like, he's been the most consistent. Not one slip up, not one, not one, you know, no call out, no no show, no, mm -hmm. no none of that. Like you know. Well, he did have the, uh, the the the. Remember when he was supposed to battle Ill Will, and then he got pushed back. You know what I'm saying with the, with the COVID shit. So yeah. That's a call. That's a call out, legitimate. But then it was the A shit that was speculated in there too. So yeah, a little, a little, a little, a little, just a little, little, was, little sprinkle. It was a little sprinkle of but that. But ain't nothing too crazy. Though. But did he complete the objective? He completed. He battled both. Okay. So that's, like, we we moving on. That's what I'm saying. We whereas on. whereas his opponent, Surf, mm -hmm. has been set up for other opponents, mm -hmm. and it never happened. Correct though. So when we talk about consistency. John John is still on that on that level. Mm -hmm. We talk about lyrically though. Surf, you know, he, he got albums. He got enough. He got enough work that, that you know what I'm saying that, that he could chop up. Whether you want to do it for battle rap, whether you want to do it for the industry, whether you want to do uh, uh, freestyles, LA leakers, like I nine five, like all that. You know what I'm saying? Surf is the all around musician. Mm -hmm. But this is a battle, rap battle, where they are rapping, mm -hmm. right? Where there are heavy angles and heavy bars, mm -hmm. heavy performance. John John can do all of that. Not to mention, John John ain't did the one thing that he was known for at one point in time. Right. Why not pull that out in this battle? What? Why don't he just be like, oh, you do this, I can do that. And oh. I'm gonna do it way better. Mm. It, it, Cause once again, Student of the game, how do you negate somebody's round without, without a, especially if you go first? I know what you're going to do. You're going to do this, 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 and this. But instead of doing this, I'm going to do it just like you. That's what John John knows. Since I'm known for stealing, might as well do what these niggas told me to do. It, John John can, can win on that aspect. Freestyle ability, John John. We talk like as far as freestyling in a battle, he can he can do it. It's not the best, right? But he can do it. It's Surf gonna get the first round. Surf's gonna get the first. Mm. But you got three rounds to go. I mean, you got two other rounds to go, man. Uh, two rounds. I have John John, and I have him for a number of reasons. Number one, John John in grudge matches, or even therefore perceived grudge matches. Steps it up to another level, you know what I'm saying? Like the ace battle, uh, that was like a forced grudge, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. they their beef was because the shit happened in the street, woo -de -boo. but in battle rap, like when he has a battle rap grudge with someone, a la Jackboy, mm. you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, he brings it on them big stages and he's done it, you know what I'm saying? Time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. His the key to what John John does the best is what Surf has the biggest issue with. John John's consistently consistent. Like, he's consistent. Like, you know, if I put my money on John John having three rounds, he's going to have three rounds. I can't tell you, on one hand, more than three or four battles where John John stumbled, choked, or anything like that in his whole catalog. I'd be sitting here all day and all night trying to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? So he's always got bars. He's mm -hmm. always got material. He's always going to be prepared. He's always going to have big moments. Um, surf, I rock with Surf, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, I, we text before his, uh, album came out, mm. he did tell me, you know, he's gonna rest after the battle, you know what I'm saying, like, he's, he's allegedly gonna be prepared with three rounds, I didn't ask him would he have three rounds, but the verbiage in what we spoke about kinda seemed like he was gonna take John John seriously because of everything that we aforementioned, um, but, mm -hmm. sure money, mm -hmm. Got to bet sure money with sure people, you yes. know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. the person that's the sure one to bring it in these scenarios 
It's John John and Don. Yep. John John and Don's, you don't really see him on social media like that. He ain't really been talking shit. He ain't really been doing, he done the, the things that he's supposed to do. But, uh, you know, it, it, when it comes down to this, you know, he's the show of money. But who who you going with, though? John John 2 one. John John 2 one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I guess I'll, I, 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 I. John John 2 one. Yeah. I, I gotta go. Yeah. Like show I said. Money. Show money. If you know wins, if Surf wins, we do have the intellectual fortitude to, in order to disseminate what happens yep. and, and call it like it is. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna sit there and say somebody won, won a battle when they didn't win. You know, so we will do it that way. But at the same time, going into it, it is what it is. Well, we gonna be here. We, oh, we gonna be you, here. Well, you, I'm gonna be here. You yeah. will be I'm, here I'm in the be, chair. I'm in that be, chair. I'm be right here. Mm, okay. We gonna we gonna see. We we gonna see. Okay. We definitely gonna see. Mm. Um. Last but not least, ooh, the one that's been gaining the most traction, I will say that I'm actually happy that this battle has started to pick up and gain traction mm -hmm. with these two going back and forth with each other right. on, on different lives. Murder Mook was in was one of, in a live chat with a bunch of dudes from Philly. Reed Dollars pulled out all the hammers and all of that. Like, mm -hmm. come on, now you gotta do, what's up, man? What you think? Run me through it. All right, man. Uh, I, I, know, I know there's gonna be a lot of talk about Hating and bias, which mm -hmm. is fine. Right. It's okay. I just want y'all to know that I'm well aware that Murder Mook can wrap his ass off, and that's and that's great. Mm -hmm. It's great. Murder Mook is one of the best schemers, one of the best anglers. Murder can Mook rap for 25 Matt, minutes. He can rap for 25 minutes. His third round is still being broken down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think rap. I think the you know the website. They they definitely stopped. They gave they up. Gave they, up. they gave up like minute ten. So we out of here. You know what I'm saying they do that. They do that for anybody else. So I know they gave up for that battle. Mm -hmm. um, needless to say, um, is that Mook ain't never felt worried about this battle. He ain't never felt like you know what I'm saying. Like he ain't never got scared. He and, and that's and that's and that's fine. Mm -hmm. Reed scares niggas, mm -hmm. and he usually does that. When he's battling you, it's usually a, 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 the only battle was, that I could think of was him versus John John, where he had to get the feel. Mm -hmm. But even in that battle, he still had one of. Can you can you give me a John? Can you give me one of the uh, the John John lines from that battle at this moment? Probably not. Mm -hmm. But you remember from that battle, it's in the it's car. It's in the car. It's definitely in the car. Definitely remember that. Reed knows how to make things memorable. Mm -hmm. Reed does it every battle. Same thing with, with Rum Nitty. He said, when, That's how you blow off stage. Chess, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. it, it, come, like, with Sean, he put on the old A. He said, I gotta go back to the old Reed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. time it's something different with Reed, where it's like, all right, you wanna see the old thing? Well, I got you. Mm -hmm. Now, because this battle is gonna be in Houston. Um, I, I honestly feel like, you know, uh, this is a evil, even playing ground. Like, yes, I, I really don't feel like there's a bias right. in this room. Correct. For Mook. So, I, I still, I, I, I really feel like reeking at the first and the third. Mm. Reeking at the first and the third. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to go with Reed 2 1. Shock value alone. Right. If it's not the first and the third, it'll be the second and the third. Because mm. Reed, Reed could definitely close out. He definitely has the the bars. Like, Reed has the flow and Reed has that big stage ability to where he can possibly wild out and get and get the battle. You know In his saying? area with 51. Every, yeah, every, his area with 51. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but ahead. what I must say is this, right? Uh, Murder Mook. I'm not gonna say it's rattled. I think he seems very concerned about this one. I've never seen him go as far as, you know, going on live chats and getting people from Philly involved. And you know what I'm saying? I've never seen him do that. You know what I'm saying? And like really try to prove his point. I was in Philly when you wasn't in Philly and woo de woo de woo and all this other shit. But uh, you know, in, in this scenario, Murder Mook has more big stage experience than Of course. Me. Murder Mook has more you know, legendary performances in correspondence to bigger battles. Right. Reed Dollars 
is the perceived underdog for a reason. There are some people that when Reed Dollar started to get some of the bigger battles were questioning why he was getting them. Mm. I never questioned them because I was like, yo, this is Reed Dollar. Reed. Like, nigga, this is Reed, like Rambo Reed. Mm -hmm. um, in order for Reed to win, he's going to need to come out early. He's going to have to come out early and he's going to have to really take charge of the battle. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have to. Like, there's no way... He's going to be able to go down a round versus Murder Mook and win two more. That's going to be very difficult. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can't. I can't even say who can go first or who can go second because I can give two different battles where Mook went first, mm -hmm. won the battle. Mook went second, mm -hmm. won the battle. So it's like, it's yeah. It, it's all about the material. It's really all about the material. It's how can it resonate with the crowd. And also, how can it resonate, re resonate with the fans that are watching? Mm -hmm. Because on camera, Mook is going to win that. Mook is going to win that. I want camera. that old murder. They, they do, do rag. What do you nah, do I don't, rag? Yeah, I, nah, yeah. I think Mook is going to win on cam because Mook has those layered bars where you're like constantly trying to. It's, it's fine wine. You know, whereas Reed. He gonna hit you right then and there. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, that could be a, that could be the thing too. Reed could win in the building, mm -hmm. but when they drop on the app, Mook could be winning that. Okay. Oh um, yeah, my bad. Continue. Who I'm gonna got? go. I'm gonna go with Mook two one. I know. Uh, from I the think. <laughs> You're from Philly, man. Yeah. I, I gotta go with Mook two one in this one, man. I, I feel like uh, Murder Mook. He's got a he's he, uh, he's got a distinct advantage as far as with being able to. Wrap circles around people mm. per se, being able to he, he use, can wrap his ass up. You're right, use different pockets of flows, mm -hmm. uh, being able to tell a story. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he's, I'm sure he's gonna have his angles. Murder Mook is an angle master, I'm sure he'll have his angles. Mm -hmm. And, um, looking forward to seeing what he's gonna be able to do with the energy of Reed Dollars because Reed Dollars possesses a high growl, a high powered flow where he's gonna be able to, uh, to, to, to bring certain haymakers, yeah. So, I got Mook 2-1, though. Man, yeah, I, I got Reed 2-1. I got Reed 2-1. Home game, Philly bias. It's for the culture. Right. Show them who's too raw for the streets. Ooh, you didn't do that. I did. Okay. I did. Who's, what's battle of the night? <laughs> battle of the night for me is probably going to be easy in chess. Um, mm -hmm. my, my, my Not even my sleeper battle of the night. I just really, really hope it does. Um, my candidate battle of the year could be Shining Hollow. You really into that, Sean? I really, I, listen, man, it's, it, these, these, they're both in my top five. It's like, I can't, I can't. You can't pick. I, it's yeah, it's a civil war for me. It's a civil war because it's like Iron that. Man, Cap. I can't pick one. <sighs> yeah, man. Well, I mean that's summer madness. We'll be, we'll recap it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it should be, it should be one of those. Uh, one of those big things, you know what I'm saying? Um, how many current event bars you think we're gonna get in some in some madness? I just hope everyone's prepped. <laughs> how many current? How many of them you think is gonna be? I just think it, it should be prepped. Um, uh, I think all all of their stuff uh, should uh, uh, be sat on the face. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Keep it jazzy. Ah. You know what I'm saying? I think there's gonna be a few more fans that will be angry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just I don't know. There's gonna be a lot of gonna be a lot of those in there. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You know, just throwing those out there, sprinkling that. You know what I'm saying? Of course, throwing some some current event. A little yeah. something in there. Yeah, I mean. Okay. Well, that's good, man. We'll, we'll definitely we'll definitely see who who comes out. You know what I'm saying? Clean after this is over. Facts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm okay. saying?